what's good? I'm the host today on this episode of my Bella TV. I got a very special guest with me. I got my nigga Fast Life Freak on the cut. You already know what it is, you feel me? Welcome, you feel me, to this my Bella TV shit, bro. You know we've been trying to get this shit out the mud, building it up. You just dropped some shit called Deeper Than Rap. You feel me? This shit. We'll see, rocking the merch, real. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, explain the concept. Where this come from? What is like the deeper than rap? So like, bro, you feel me? Deeper than rap is just like the life I live. You know, I spit what I live, bro. You feel me? So like, everything I rap about is like the shit I've been through. So I'm saying like the shit y'all hearing the songs, it ain't for entertainment or nothing. Like, yeah. this is really my life. Like, I done lost homies to this shit and shit. So that's what deeper than rap means. Like, don't get this rap shit fucked up. Like, this shit is deeper than that. You feel me? When these cameras go off in the studios. Leave the studio, this is shit that we really living and going through. You feel me? Real talk, and this like your this your first full project by first, yourself. First full like solo, solo. solo. Cause project. I know you and the guys, you feel me? Y'all had plenty fast like yeah, mixtapes. Group tapes. That was rocking, you know, the city was sleep on that. I'm talking about mm -hmm. it. when we niggas, you know, y'all was rapping. I remember when you were shorties as teenagers and mm -hmm. shit. But now it's like coming together, you know, like I said, you got this merch, you feel me, you were doing streams. How does that like all contribute? how you want to push your brand and push, you know, your music in the city, like. It just, I live and learn, bro, you know. Uh, I used to drop a lot of my shit on SoundCloud, you know, just pushing, rapping with the homies. Now it's like I'm trying to get paid off this shit, you feel me? My biggest inspiration is Nipsey Hussle. So I see how he got it out the trunk, bro, and did it with his own shit. That, that inspired me, that's what I'm trying to do, you know, build my own brand up and make my name and my team a brand. Saying some shit that we could pay, get paid for, and ain't gotta deal with nobody. You know, we trying to eliminate the middleman, bro. Eliminate the middleman. I hear that. Yeah, you feel me? Like, and it's it's cool to see because it's like for people who don't know you, explain like just where you from. Like, you feel me? Explain your upbringing, bro. Like, what makes you different in terms of what you bring into this music scene, especially in Denver, Colorado? Like, shit, I'm from Denver, Colorado. But I'm from Mount Bella, which is considered Northeast Denver. But I'm from Denver, Colorado. And I'm gonna just pause you there. Explain the difference from Denver and Northeast Denver. So Denver is big, bro. There's Park Hill, there's East Denver, there's Mount Bella, Green Valley. That's all recognized in neighborhoods. Denver. Yeah. yeah, that's all in Denver, small neighborhoods in Denver. But Mount Bella is like a real classical neighborhood in Denver. You know, it was an all black neighborhood back in the day. Probably brought up in like the 70s and 80s, all black owned, you know, and they trying to strip us from that. They trying to strip Montbello from being it's all culture. My own, minority owned, not even black yeah. owned, minority owned. They trying to strip, yeah, they trying to strip us from that. So what me and my team is trying to do is bring that back. Yeah, because people- Black are, and Mexican owned, yeah. we're trying to bring that shit back, bro. We're yeah, trying to keep it owned it, by the people, bro. Yeah, yeah. and that's, it's like you say that people looking outside in, they think of Denver, Colorado, Northeast Denver. Like ain't no niggas, ain't no minorities out there. You feel me? It ain't. They think it. You know, a lot of times people be thinking shit sweet. Oh, when no, really, it, it ain't sweet. You feel all. me? Explain what go on in my bello. Like shit, explain. Bro. You feel me? Why this shit in is the last, deep, you feel me? last couple years, bro. The murder rate been going up in Denver, and eight times out of ten, them Denvers is occurring in my bello. You damn you know? right. But they're they not gonna show that yeah. shit on TV, bro. They don't give a fuck about us. You feel me? But that's real shit, though. Like, everybody from Denver, Colorado, know. Because Montbello is not just Bloods, Chris. It's all kind of motherfuckers. You feel me? Like, everybody wow, got love from Montbello. So it's like anybody could get caught out there, bro. It's a small town. It's not big. You can see anybody out there. Anything can happen. So, you know, it's not, it's not shit to get to light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why they're trying to change it so much. Cause so many people didn't die. So many people didn't lost their life out there. Cause I remember a time on some real shit. Like, you know, they used to call it my ghetto. Mm -hmm. Like just people, you know, who know from DPS school districts to just random people outside of my bello used to call it my ghetto. Yeah. Like that's where that name, you know, derived from it just being different than different. That's why they took our schools from us, bro. If you really look at the history of Montbello, that's why they took gentrified all of our schools, bro. Yeah, if you go back, shit, Rachel yeah. B. No is not Rachel B. No no more. Montbello High School is not Montbello High School no more. This comes from the events of motherfuckers getting stabbed up there, niggas getting killed. Motherfuckers, as you know, not giving a fuck. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, it, it is like, it's just the history behind it, With bro. that being said, like, why do you think problems like that exist in Montbello? 
instead of like in other neighborhoods such as Cherry Creek or you know some pansy sweet ass shit you know Thornton or Westminster or something you know we ain't got shit bro either Montbello you either gonna hoop gang bang or rap bro and nine times out of ten if you rapping you gang bang Thanks. or selling drugs we ain't got nothing bro you know what I'm saying? You ain't got shit. If you ain't playing sports, you ain't got shit. Yeah, yeah. You know that's why I appreciate your movement because I feel like, especially in that, you know, from 20 year old to like late teen age, you really pushing the scene when it comes. You been pushing. You in the whole fast life movement been mm -hmm. pushing the scene, you feel me? With the music in my bello. Explain like why that's important. Like just music. It's important because a lot of older cats ain't really they pushed the movement from my Bella, but like it didn't get nowhere. So like, as right now, you look who's running the music scene. It's not no, from nobody from my Bella. You know, the Aco's on fire with Honey Pack Savvy in them. They tearing the city up right now. You know, you got Trey Rich and them. They from Park Hill. You know, nobody from my Bella. My Bella's a spot that ain't got that fire on it. That but my Bella's like one of them. Where shit actually going down. Yeah, that's what shit's going Statistically, down. Statistically, you know, when it yeah, come pound what, for pound, that's what going it's down. where shit going down. Yeah, ain't nobody came out of my bello yet, bro. Yeah, and it's like we waiting. And somebody inspired like why you not we yeah. not even statistically speaking about the old cats. Like our age, young dudes, you know, our age, twenty five and under. Yeah, nobody's well, put that spot. Why right you now. think though? Why you think ain't nobody from the Bells on made it to that point where it's like you getting recognition from just the city? Cause a lot of times, especially when you speak to white folks, you know, Denver got hella white people. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So white ass city in terms of, you know, the demographics and the makeup of it. You know, the minorities, you got our pockets. You know, and the Hispanics got a strong, you feel me, population out there, of course, they holding shit down, period. But when it comes to like black people, you feel me? We only got a pocket such as Marbella. Why you think no one has made it out of that shit? Like, you know, got to that point getting recognized. I feel like they just sleep on us, bro. And I say that because there's a lot of talent coming out of Marbella, not even yeah. just fast, like there's other, young artists in Montbello that deserve to have a spotlight on them as well. You feel me? So I just feel like they sleep on us, you know, and it's just going to take that one person to put the spotlight on Montbello for us. You know what I mean? And once that happens, the sky is the limit. And it's like, you know, with that being said, you see, like you said, you was talking about the hunting pack savvies, the niggas putting on, you know, mm -hmm. and other cities and whatnot. Colorado Springs got a little wave going with their music and shit. What separates Mark Bello and what we bring to the table in the music industry in terms of velocity to you? Shit, I feel like the support ain't there in Mark Bello. Everybody out to get each other, you know? When you look everywhere else and these niggas support each other, you know? If you yeah. go to Aurora, these niggas is rocking with each other, you know? Everybody pushing that shit. Park Hill, everybody pushing that shit. East Denver, everybody pushing that shit. When it come down to Mark Bello, it's not that same way, you know? Because like, either niggas don't like niggas or you know, niggas just ain't fucking with the movement, you feel me? But I feel like we got a strong thing going, you know? Yeah. We starting to collab and lock in with more people in the city, so I feel like slowly but surely it's going to be where it needs to be. And on gang, like, that's, I feel like that's what, you know, this platform, even with what, you know, is being brought to the table with Montbello TV. Of course. I feel like Montbello TV is a way to basically, you know, show what's been missing. Mm -hmm. And not just Marbello, but just in Denver in general. In general, because I feel, you feel like... me? Because this shit is... Marbello is like... When it comes to our city, it's one of the realest parts you're going to get. You, it's a black and brown community. Mm -hmm. And you feel me? And it's like... It's raw. It's raw, you feel me? So everything you get there, you know, most people who come from there, only two generation, one generation baby. So it's like... I feel like shit. Shout out Marbello TV, man. Because like I said, things can go to the moon with this shit. There's not really no radio station that's raw with it in our city. Yeah, because that's like, really going to tap in with the young niggas. With these radio stations, yeah. KS 1075, they play pussy shit. They, they don't play, play nobody from the city. Yeah. There's no radio stations in Denver that play nobody <laughs> from the city. There's no radio stations that interview anybody from the city, barely. You know, they be scared or they interview these niggas that ain't doing shit, bro. That's not really... That's not really in tune with this shit. Ain't never did shit. You know, yeah. niggas that's not really raw, bro. So that's how I feel. We need somebody that's really gonna interview these young niggas that really got a message behind their music and really standing on their message. Real talk, because nigga, 
me, like my family, you know, my roots ain't from here, but me being from here, we got so much culture. Yeah. That motherfuckers in our city don't appreciate it. At all. At all. I'm talking about from athletics, you feel me? From rap talent. Nigga from pound to pound street shit, bro, that I you know ain't gonna go get into because ain't none of that shit to be glorified. Nigga, half the time niggas doing that shit because ain't got nothing else to do because niggas down bad. Yeah. But when it come down to it, the fact is it's in the bells, nigga. Yeah, for real. Shit, like I said, man, there's a whole city we slept on. It's not even just Montbello. Like, but yeah. Colorado slept on. You know, we ain't had nobody come out of here yet, so I feel like everybody's just grinding. Like, I like where the music scene in Colorado's going right now. Everybody's grinding and want to be seen, they want to be that, so I feel like it's up for grabs. And it's a lot of talent in the city right now. The city's coming together more and more in this music shit. Yeah. So I feel like, shit, we, it's going towards where it needs to be, bro. Like I said, you know, the ACO doing their thing. East Denver been doing their thing. Park Hill been doing their thing. Shit, even the other cats before us, my Bella's doing their thing. So I'm just waiting so, to bust to the dog. With that being said, my nigga. I'm gonna ask you three questions, bro. Three random questions. Who in the city, like, do you want to network with and actually like, collab with, you know, and start working with? Shit, bro. I ain't really been looking to collab with nobody right now. You know, just trying to get me and my team to where we need to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been working with my team. You know, I got I got a couple cats I've been fucking with in the city, though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. But as, as far as like somebody I want to collab with, I ain't really looking towards that direction right now. Just trying to get my team trying to, get to reach team. the goal, yeah, you know, team. push our merch, push our projects. That makes sense. And push our movement. But do you think that's kind of like the problem with a lot of these Denver artists? Yeah, that's a lot of like, bro, They don't know out, how to work together in the I've sense. I've reached out to a lot of Denver artists. You yeah. Know? And uh, sometimes I've seen songs and I got them back. Sometimes I got left on scene. So, you know, that made me just grind harder, bro. You know, I feel like I slept on as an artist, as a unit. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's the reason why I don't want to collab with nobody. You know, people feel like they're better than me because they in another position when really we are in the same right. position and got the same goals. I wish everybody the best, though. Second question, nigga, what, what drives you? What motivates you? To shit, keep I got a kid, bro, and I got homies I lost in this shit. So, I do this shit for them, bro. And I got a team that believes in me. You feel me? So right. that yeah, makes yeah. me think like, you know what I'm saying? We gotta do this shit. You know, like we we need it, we need to do this shit, period. Real talk. That's the really shit I ever said. Last question, bro. Within the next year, where do you wanna be at with your music? Sure, bro, I'll just really like I said, we out the trunk with it right now, so Within the next year, what's that? We, what's the what's the standard you set for yourself so in a year? Where with, you wanna be? Within the next year, I'm gonna be looking to. You know what I'm saying? Really have my label up and running, having my merch pushing out the door, and just, you know, really doing my thing with this music shit, doubling and tripling my numbers, you know? Really. Right. Just That's doubling and shit. tripling my streams, bro. I know Salute, shit don't happen nigga. overnight. You feel Salute. me? So we just trying to, okay, we just bro, trying to shit, meet, bro. meet it. Real nigga. Trying to reach our goals, bro. And I feel like you're going to get there because, nigga, we currently in Atlanta right now. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You know, we seen how they get down out here. Yeah, we, we out here in Atlanta, Atlanta man. That work did what we did. Shout out to my nigga Fast Life Kills. We came out here for a it's tournament, for a it's session, for the really? session HD. Uh, the homie lost in the second round, but you know he made hey, it to the ending. Yeah, yeah, they the producer DJ fucked, fucked up, the fucked up, yeah, fucked up my bitch ass nigga. nigga. If you watch but, this shit, you a hoe. But we ain't tripping off that shit. No, shout out to them. Shout out to the session. You know what I mean, but they fucked my nigga up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Real so shit. We we just trying to. They did. We gonna move forward from that. Shout out, shout out to the winner, YG Case. He won everything. Shout out to him, be the dope artist from yeah, Denver, Colorado, are. from Park Hill. Yeah. And shout out to Unique too from Aurora, Colorado. They went the final three. Shout out to them. They did their thing. But as far as the uh DJ, he fucked bro up. He didn't do that to nobody else, but right. shut the beat off on bro. So oh, I feel it. like that shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He did fuck bro. Up. But shit, bro, let niggas know where they can follow you. You know, give all your social media, bro, yeah. your YouTube, all that. Facebook and Fast Life Rico. Instagram, Fast Life Rico 187. Twitter, Fast Life Rico. If you want to look up any of my music, Apple Music, Spotify, any of that shit, Fast Life Rico. Just straight like that, Fast Life Rico. Hey, Shout out my Bella TV, too, man. I That's would let you know this, shit bro. shit coming. I'm behind you 100%, nigga. Like, shit, <laughs> deeper than rap shit, though. Love, okay. nigga, hey. You feel me? We on ATL. We gon' make it, nigga. We, we, we headed for that top spot. 
Real shit, niggas come from the mud. Mm -hmm. Hey, you watching my Bella TV? You feel me? Tune in, nigga. Get your door. Hit that subscribe button. Down, nigga. Hit that subscribe button to my Bella TV too. Raw content from the city coming soon. All right, we been fucked up since we touched down to the eight. Mm -hmm. Off the shits, nigga. <laughs> okay.